The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. Welcome to the raw and uncensored Ambitious Podcast. I'm your host, the original HBIC, Katie Boyd. During our time here together, I will be instilling all of the strength, power, and determination you will need to use the very stones thrown at you to build your ultimate empire. We will redefine the word bitch from the derogatory to the acronym being in total control of herself. So let's adjust our crowns and prepare to live life ambitiously. Oh yeah, here I am, the original HBIC Katie motherfucking Boyd. <laughs> and over here is my ride or die homie, the infamous hashtag Big Bernard. <laughs> Matthew <laughs> Matt Babine. <Bain>. Woohoo! <laughs> you know, I would thank you for being on, but you just never leave, so yes. I'm just going to keep it rolling. Thanks for having me every day. Yes, you know, <laughs> I'm very, very grateful. I start my day off with gratitude Matt, about being on this beautiful podcast. Matt, you're this. the gift that really keeps on giving. Absolutely. But you always job. bring something to the table. You always, you know, pleasantly surprise me. You surprise me with joy. That's what I am. As Deepak Chopra yeah, would say. Surprise me with joy. <laughs> I love being surprised with joy. Oh, so today's ambitious podcast installment is all about living your life authentically. Whatever that means for you, because what feels authentic and purposeful for me, mm -hmm. may not feel that way for you. And you might have your own set of values, which help you feel like you're living your most highest authentic version of yourself. Yes. And we're going to dive really super deep into that today. So I'm very excited for today's podcast. Good one. But before I start, I always love to read the ambitious iTunes podcast review of the week. And it is from Reiki Jill. Five stars, amazing. She says, Katie is so raw and so real, changing lives. This podcast is absolutely amazing. Thank you, Reiki Jill. Email me at <laughs> themisfitclub at gmail.com to redeem your $100 gift certificate for leaving such an awesome review. And thank you from the bottom of my little black heart to all of you who have already left five-star written reviews on iTunes. This is what really helps the Ambitious Podcast become Absolutely. truly a movement. Help as many people all over the globe to listen and to change their lives and truly live life ambitiously. So I thank you. And for all you lazy mofos that have not gone on, it takes literally two seconds to Get do. Over there. Get over there, you lazy prick. <laughs> Come on. Get over there, you lazy prick. Give it a five star review it. and a little bit of write up just to tell us what we're doing and how. Uh, much you enjoy every ambitious podcast. And before yeah. we start, I always love to get everyone on board with everything that's happening, ambitious and KBMFC. So your best bet is to do two things. One is to head over to www.kbmfc.com and sign up for our free weekly newsletter. It's not really even a newsletter. It's truly a love note from me to you. Every week I sit I don't do really, I don't batch those out because I really love them to come from my heart and I love to speak about what I'm experiencing and things that I'm going through in epiphanies and I always love to send you guys inspiration. It goes out every Tuesday, so subscribe to that free newsletter and I always love to put in a good keto recipe. Mm. And um, just, you know, keep you guys in the loop of everything that's happening at KBMC. You can also go over to the website and go to the events page and see everything that we have coming down the Pretty Pink Pipeline because we are doing some really cool stuff right now Absolutely. as far as events go. So. If you want to work with me, you want to spend time with me, you want to go on vacation with me, get over to kbmfc.com <laughs> and just see all that we have to offer. Lots of stuff going on. Are you ready for this? I am so ready. This so is exciting. I have been a huge proponent of living life authentically. I feel like that I've been living life authentically since 1981. <laughs> 
<laughs> you definitely have. I just do what I want to do and I say what I want to say. And you think? obviously, you think? <laughs> yeah, that's why we have a podcast. <laughs> but truly, you know, I don't do it just off the cuff. Everything I do has purpose mm-hmm. and meaning behind it, whether it's to inspire you or empower you or educate you or wake you up from whatever zombie apocalypse that you found yourself in or whatever hypnotic rhythm that you're stuck in. Because that's truly my purpose in life is to help wake as many people up to see that they can truly live a life ambitiously, Absolutely. magical, yeah. happy, joyful, and living in their core desired feelings. So I've spoken before about core desired feelings. Um, truly, that's my North Star. Mm-hmm. And I know that that's your North Star. Absolutely. And how you live every day. Yes. So what I always talk about is to really just know truly like pick three to five words on feeling words of how you truly desire to live and how you truly desire to feel every day. And then every day ask yourself, am I living in my core desired feelings? So that's number one. But I was thinking the other day about three things. So one is I asked myself, am I living the life of my dreams? Mm. So just ask yourself that question really quick. Are you living right now? Are you living the life of your dreams? And if the answer to that is no, then we really have to truly figure out, um, you know, number two, if not, what can you do? Even if it's just one small thing to move the needle in the direction of living the life of your dreams. And then three, what are your core desired feelings? Three to five feeling words and write them down, right? And then I know I said three, but I want to just throw in one more because, you know, sure. I like to be long-winded. Yeah, absolutely. Number and four is education. how do I now implement the way that I desire to feel on a daily basis? Mm. So Good for questions. me, um, and you have your core desired feelings too, but, mm-hmm. for, you know, for me, um, some of my core desired feelings is I desire to feel unbothered. Mm. That's a good one. Right? Like I changed my core desired feelings um, a little bit ago. And I always tell people that I coach from all over the world, like once you have your three to five core desired feelings, you can have like 20 of them and you can store them in a little, little spiritual fanny pack. <laughs> did I make those fanny, anymore? Yeah. Fanny packs are like I really big. I fanny pack. Matt, I wore a Chanel fanny pack the other day. I was That's dinner. right. I did see that. Jesus. Yes, They're yes. back in style. I got to get one myself. You, you knew, you, Matt will wear his <laughs> fanny pack with his Zuma pants. Yes. Are they called Zuba? I don't know what they Remember are. Remember those things that were like the-, oh, the, the, the the parachute pants? <laughs> yeah. And they uh, were like okay. the American I'm gonna flag. Those, I'm going to bring those 80 pa- 80s uh, pants oh back. I'll start wearing them around. And I would say we could put some vanilla ice stripes in your hair, but you'd have no ice, hair, so we'd have to put baby. it in your on your back hair. Well, I had I have back hair, <laughs> and I had hair back, I had hair back <laughs> oh then. God. Definitely in the 80s. What the hell happened to it? So think about it. it if, if my fell off. Co- <laughs> something else is going to fall off. You don't my shut core, your mouth. My core design feeling wanted to have freaking hair. That didn't oh work God. out for me. No, that was not. To be hairy. My core desire feeling is to be hairy. Hairy. Um. So if my core desired feelings, one of the five, is to be unbothered, if someone bothers me or someone tries to go out of their way to hurt me or to aggravate me or to whoop me up, remember, I have the number one focus of yes. saying, I'm not going to let this bother me. I yes. am unbothered, That's a good right? One. Yes. Because being unbothered is going to help me live the life of my dreams because no one wants to – no one's dream life is to be bothered all the time, Yes. right? Yeah. So what about you? Okay, I have a bunch too. Mine so just hit one. Is, well, not number one is peace. I lo- I need to feel at peace. Stop saying the word need. I am at peace. Okay. Yeah. I Thank don't you. Need, let's I don't need let's, it let's work on our good I am, language. I am at peace. No, that's one of my core desired feelings. Mm-hmm. I my core desired feeling feel, is to have peace. I feel it every day. <laughs> and if you interrupt my peace like you're doing right now, <laughs> I will put some a peace whooping on your ass. <laughs> I don't think so. You know that that would never happen. But a keep, peace whooping. Go on with your bad self, okay. Matt Babine. Yes. So, so yeah, peace is, is one of your core desired is, feelings. Yes. A bit abundance. I have to feel abundant. But why is peace your number one? Um, because probably I, I grew up probably in tr- a lot of tumultuous, tremu- uh, tumultuous, tr- tumultuous, uh, environments. <laughs> so yes, environment an environment yes. <laughs> that I really needed peace Yeah, and I took it and I made it happen. So number one thing is if, I, if you, you say know, need one more time, I'm going to slap you. The number, oh, you really? cannot talk need, shit to other people and tell them need, not to say need and want. And then you say need and want yourself. I just said, I am. Say desire. Peace. No, just say I, I desire. desire. I, I have you. it already. I don't desire it anymore. But then, back in the day, 
You I desired, desired it. it. Big time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because your life was not peaceful. No, it wasn't peaceful. So it was, uh, you know, really kind of crazy. So that was one of the things after I my, doing my spiritual work and peeling that spiritual onion and finding out exactly how I wanted to feel. That is very important. Now, am I going to feel peace all the time? No, there's going to be some things that are going to move you. But right. I always go back to right. that. And how do I get back there quicker? Yes. To, to that peaceful state. I 100% yeah. agree. One of my other core desired feelings is to feel uncomfortable which I know sounds super crazy because that sounds almost like it has a negative connotation, yes. right? Because anything that's the opposite of comfort is ew. Yes. But I truly believe that if you feel uncomfortable, that's where growth happens. So when people come to me and they ask me to collaborate on things with them or do events with them or do certain um, work things with them, if it doesn't scare me, mm. I actually don't do it anymore. Right. So I want to I want to be afraid. I want to feel uncomfortable. I want it to feel abrasive. Like I want to wake up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat and be like, "Oh my god, I have to do this huge event. Yeah. This is very scary." I know that sounds crazy, but I know from those places is where I am going to grow as a speaker, as a motivator, as a coach, as a business owner, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You want chosen uncomfortableness, right? I choose it. Yes. Cho- chosen things, yes. right? You don't yes. want to be uncomfortable because I may have pushed you out of the bed with right. my big leg. Right. Or I stepped on off. I stepped on Pearl's bone in the yeah. house like for <laughs> the 50th not- time that's in one day. The, that's not the good uncomfortable <laughs> feeling. You need, you need to feel like you're propressed or yes. pressured. And that really causes you to what? To really dig deep inside right, right. and to pull yourself out to where you you know need to shine. They yeah, say um, pressure can burst pipes, yes. but it can also create diamonds. Yes. I love that. Right? Yeah, Isn't that so yeah. good? So that's one of my other ones. What about you? You said abundance. Abundance. So abundance for me is abundant in every way, right? So it's not just abundance and Obviously, financial right. abundance is awesome. We love that. But abundance in friends, abundance in relationships, mm-hmm. abundance in um, co- conversations and moments. Yes. I love great moments. Yes. That is so important to me. So important. So important. And that's abundant in every way. Oh, absolutely. Right? 100%. Yeah, so Freedom is another one of mine. Yes. So I really make all my decisions based on freedom. Mm-hmm. So... If someone comes to me, I'll use this as an example again. If someone comes to me and wants to do a collaboration and they want to do business stuff with me or they want to work with me, even if they want to hire me as their coach, if I know that, that it's not a good fit and I know that I'm going to feel tamped down, like I can't be the full expression of myself or I can't live life on my own terms because I'm making this um, effort to collaborate with this person, yes, I say no. Mm, because yeah, I know. have to say to myself, is this thing that I'm going to do going to help me really feel free? Mm-hmm. And if the if the answer to the question is no, I 100% will not do it. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Yeah, because you're putting yourself in a box. Another one, Matt? Another one is passion. I have to have passion. Yes. Right? I, I need to feel like, yes, this is lighting me up right so did now. Did you just say need again? I Oh, yes. I have we're gonna to. Work, we're going to – I'm only calling you to the carpet I right now. I have to. Yes. Because there's – Thousands of people out there that are listening to this podcast that use the word need and want. Mm. And we, as the leaders, we have to start really structuring the way we speak because I catch myself doing it all the time too. Like I always say like, well, I need to do this and I need to do that. And I'm like, no, 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 no. It's a get to. Not a half. Good to. lesson. I like that. Yeah. Let's get with the program. Yeah. Let's not. Let's not keep doing <laughs> that this. That is a good lesson. Well, don't you think I'm that? I need to kill you in two seconds. Don't you think though? So many people talk this way. It's not healthy. No, it's not. And it's you're not. actually such an incredible leader yeah. and yeah. so spiritual. Don't look at me when I'm talking to you. No, I was just I was just looking at something. My next one. Ah, <laughs> you're don't such grab an my incredible chest leader. While I'm here. And you're so spiritual, but I won't, but I know that this is like a bad habit. Because I do it too. Yeah. So if I say the word need or want today, will you call me to the carpet too? Absolutely. I definitely will. Your tit was really juicy when yeah. I just bounced it in my hand. It kind of felt nice. So you, so you, need, to have that so you need passion or you, or you desire passion? No, I desire passion and I have to have it in every area. Yes. I, I, it's just me. So give me some areas. Uh, people that I hang around with. Yes. I, I, so I when you're with just, someone, it has to be passionate. I just don't want to talk about the weather. I want to talk, I want to go <laughs> talk <laughs> about deep stuff. I don't want to be like, oh, so how's the weather? Oh, it's good. Okay, I'm looking at my watch now and I need to get out of here. Dude. I have to be able to have deep conversations. Deep conversations. Yes. No frivolous. That is a must yes. for me. That no, is small for me. no small, small talk. Small talk makes no, you crazy. No. Passion um, in what other arenas? I have to have passion in my family, my wife. I have to have passion in everything that I do. 
Yes. I really do. I mean, I just don't want to. When you're sitting on the couch with your hands down your pants, that's That's, very passionate. That's a passionate, peaceful moment for me. (laughs) I see it all the time, Mr. Ed Sullivan. A passionate, peaceful moment where I'll be (laughs) sitting there on the couch, my hands down my pants. I get passion and peace. Mr. Ed Sullivan, is this like a thing that guys do? They just sit with their hands down their pants? It's comforting. It's comforting. What is that all about? Yes, it's very comforting. And when you (laughs) wreck my peace, when when I have my hands down my pants, and being peaceful. I just you know. can't see like women like just cupping their vaginas and being like, that's so comforting. I don't know what it is. We, we, all guys love it. It's, it's the first so thing, disgusting. First thing you do, you know, you get your sweatpants on, <laughs> the hand goes down there and you just start to relax. Sometimes Matt sleeps like on the couch, like he takes a nap <sighs> and he sleeps with his hands in his pants. Yeah, it feels good. Jeez Louise. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about Pearl jumping off the couch and jumping on my junk. Don't don't, don't your hands smell like last week's stuffed cabbage after no, you take I'm, them I'm out? Very, I'm very clean. <laughs> okay. Speak for but yourself. Banana, banana is always very really <laughs> Okay. Right. And we're moving on to the next core desire <laughs> feeling, which is, what's, your, what's another one for you? Love. You desire love. Absolutely. Who doesn't? Oh, God. You're such a love seeker. I I am a love seeker. You're very high maintenance also. (laughs) I am very high maintenance, as you know. Sometimes. You need to take very good care of me. Sometimes Matt, I'll be like doing stuff in the house and he'll just like come up to me and be like, I need a hug. I'm like, oh my (laughs) God. And then I just like hug him like, here you go. Okay. And moving on. That's a good need. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Especially when I'm like doing something that's like super focused and then he'll just come up to me and be like, did I tell you I loved you today? I'm like, nope. Bye. Get the hell out of here. You go, no, babe. Thank you so much. I love you too. I know I make you melt. Oh, yes. With my passion, abundance, Mm -hmm. peace, Mm -hmm. and love. Mm -hmm. Okay. Moving on here, sir. (laughs) So one of my other core desired feelings is fearlessness. Fearlessness. So I really get afraid sometimes like yeah. i'm a human and you scare the uh, shit out of me all the time <laughs> that's true <laughs> matt is very fearful because of me <laughs> that's why i sleep with my hands down my pants that's true. i want to get a good swift kick in the balls <laughs> no <laughs> leave that to the little myself. ninjas at the dojo oh, sometimes they'll miss and end up uh, matt came home the other day he goes so and so punched me right in the balls <laughs> today in the little ninjas class i'm like you probably deserved it yeah, well, i wasn't paying attention enough <laughs> apparently i had the hand pad one way and the kid was looking another way to well punch. when they're like two feet tall what do you expect right <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so one of mine is fearlessness. And fearlessness for me is, it's not the absence of fear, but it's doing it scared. Yeah. So like, I think that that's truly what courage is all about. Like being fearful, but also saying, you know, I'm afraid right now, mm. but I also am going to do this because I know that this is what's truly going to jump my life to the next level. That's what I'm, I think that's what I'm all about. That's what my authentic life is all about. It's like doing things that I know are scary, doing things that I know are pressureful, mm-hmm. but knowing in the end that that's what's truly going to make my life the most authentic. But that's healthy growth. It is, but a lot of right? people can't handle that, Matt. No, some people don't want it. Don't you think? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You have nothing else to no, say about I, that. No, I enjoy. Why it are you too. even here? Let's go. No, come I, on. I am telling you that I enjoy that feeling too. Why are you even here? Because it's the ambitious it. podcast with this Katie is my Motherfucking show. Boyd. I, don't know. I got a few reviews saying, "Oh can, my can god!" Talk more? I pay those people off to to give you those reviews, just so you don't get really sad and oh, end up in you. a special thank place. You. you know, I need that every now and then. Because Matt's <laughs> core desired feeling is neediness. <laughs> neediness. I do not. So what I want you guys to do is, you know, I'm not going to bore you with all the rest of our core desired feelings, especially <laughs> Matt's. Mine are um, great. <laughs> Mine are great. But I want you guys to really, my, you know, why I'm here is to wake you guys up. So if that means saying these things to you and having you think deeply while you're in the car driving to work or while you're in the kitchen cooking or while you're walking your dog or while you're at the gym lifting, My desire is for you to hear these words that I'm saying and to really wake up to the fact that if you're not living the life that you truly desire, if you're not living life authentically, it's no one's real fault except your own. You're the only one that can control it. Like Jay-Z always says, ain't no one going to stop me but me. Yep. And it's true. Yes. If you're not where you want to be in life, it's no one's fault except your own. So the first step I really truly believe in living an authentic life is to sit and get really honest and really truthful with yourself about where you actually are in life. Because I think a lot of people, and we talk to people every day about life stuff like this, a lot of people are in denial. And they don't take accountability. 
right? If they don't take Absolutely. accountability for themselves. And so it's like, oh, th- I can't do this because this person is holding me back. Yes. This, no. They're you're pointing the United, all the fingers outside. You're in the outside. United States of America. So if you don't, if you want something to change, you have to change oh, yourself. Oh, absolutely. Nobody's going to be like, by the way, Katie, you know, I know you're not feeling your core side feelings today, so I'm going to help you and no. change you. No, no you have sir. to say, this doesn't feel fucking good. I need to feel a certain way. Yes. And that's what you do. You shift it. Did you hear what Matt just said yes. again? I desire to feel a certain <laughs> oh way. Oh, my God. I don't think you were listening. I'm going to throw said, you off this show I, in like 2.3 I, I, seconds. I, I said desire. I don't know what you no, were talking No, I heard about. the N-E-E-D uh, word. I don't, I don't to even me, know. To me, that's like about. worse than the F word. I think I'd rather hear the F word the million yeah. times a day than hear N-E-E-D. Yes. Well, or, I, I am going to say it many times. Maybe oh it will God. end up in the F word. I don't know. So liter- literally, sit with a notepad or a journal and just free write a bunch of words and don't judge what comes out of your pen onto the paper. Just write words and then look at those words and hone them down to like three to five because I feel like a lot of us, especially you people out there in ambitious land, you're overachieving type A personalities and mm. you're like, I want three million core desired yeah, feelings. You won't be able to keep up with them. No, 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 no. Four, three to five is enough. And then every day... Because here's the deal. Being spiritually woke and high performance mm-hmm. is a full-time job. Constant monitoring. Constant. Of your words. And thoughts. Like you don't want to actions. say the words like, I don't know, need. Yeah. <laughs> like monitoring the words need and want. That could be a fucking start, Matthew Bay. I'm working on it. <laughs> no, you're stuff. not ever like this. I don't know why it, why this I, is happening. I uh, never hear you say those I words. I like the word need because if, it's, if you don't need something, guess what? Nothing changes. I understand that. But need – comes from a lack mindset. Maybe you misunderstood how, well, I, how I use the word. Preach, sir. <clears throat> no, I didn't it misunderstand. Makes me change, makes me change things and makes me come up with new core, core desired feelings and new emotions. I don't agree with this, so I'm going to agree okay. to disagree with you. That's fine. Because That's fine. <laughs> this is my podcast, so I could do whatever the hell I do want. Do you want to do. But sit down and marinate in that and say, okay, I'm going to take a Saturday where I'm off. Instead of going to the mall and spending money that you don't have on shit you don't need to impress people that don't even like you and you don't even like, sit home on a Saturday when you're off and say, okay, today I'm going to execute my core desired feelings. I'm going to come up with my three to five. And then in the interim, I'm going to make it a point to every day when I wake up and I go throughout my day asking myself, is this thing that I'm about to do going to help me feel one or all of my core desired feelings? And if the answer is no, I'm telling you people out there in a bitches land, don't do it. No, it no. is the best excuse. I'm sorry, that just doesn't align with my core desired feeling. And, what are people going to say about that? And most people, you know, this is what I love about really thinking about how you want to feel is because most people think, oh, when I achieve this, I'm going to feel this. Please. Feel now how you want to be and then do whatever you want to do during the feeling process. Yes. Because there's no, oh, when I get to this point, then I'm going to feel good. Yes. It doesn't happen that Never. Way. And yeah, every that time way. that you think that that's going to happen, you get let down really quickly. Don't you Ab- think? Absolutely. Like how many times has that happened to you? You've put out a goal, you've done something in business and then you and you killed it yep. and then all of a sudden you're like oh I thought this was going to fix me or I thought this was going to make me feel better and it doesn't No. and how sad is that bad bad news right bad news. so I, and imagine if you could feel that way all during the process 100% it brings your life to a new level absolutely so my whole thing today is all about living life authentically and really the best way to truly step into your authenticity is to know who you are and how you want to feel. Because I promise you that no amount of money and no success, no material thing is ever going to fix that heart size hole that each one of us have in our souls. The only thing that will truly fill that hole is to feel the way that you desire to feel on a daily basis, which for each one of us out there in a bitches land, it's a different thing. Like my core desired feelings might not resonate with you at all. You might be like, those are the stupidest five words I've ever heard in my life. And that's fine. And I might not agree with yours, but we are all here living with free will and we all can feel the way that we desire to feel, but we have to put in the time to figure out how we truly want to feel. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. I I couldn't have said it better myself. Okay. Well, thank God I'm here to have said it because (laughs) God forbid you would say anything because it would just say want to need the whole goddamn time. (sighs)
Oh, I can feel a fight coming on today. <laughs> you want to, oh, no. Yeah. Oh, we have after to do this, another, we After have to the do podcast wraps, I'm going to give him such a fucking uppercut in the chin. <laughs> I hope you bite the end of if your time off. If we get five off. more fights, we can talk about it on oh, the podcast. Oh, please. I don't want to talk about any more fighting. I'm a peaceful, peaceful angel on this earth. I Thank you too. very much. I am too. I hope that this helped. We've been getting so many questions about these core desired feelings and how to live life authentically and more important, ambitiously. Thank you, everyone out there in the land of ambitious. And like I always say, see you next Tuesday. Good job, man. Bye bye. That was good. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.